Hello, hello, hello. I have a few unbelievable stories that I want to share with my community today. So if you like hearing trending news and crazy stories, then you've come to the right place. So make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. All right. Now, last week uh, was supposed to be the wedding of Shanita Jones Dreams. It was going to take place in the backyard of a $5.7 million Florida mansion. The property sits on several acres. It has nine bedrooms and 13 bathrooms, so no waiting in line to go to the bathroom. It also has a tennis court and one of the most beautiful uh, pools that you've ever seen. Courtney and Shanita met 30 years ago in high school. They were in love, but Shanita was the girl that got away. When fate brought them back together 30 years later, they knew it was destiny and they wanted to throw the wedding of their dreams to honor God bringing them back together. However, when they arrived at the mansion the morning of the wedding with caterers, tents, chairs, and the wedding guests, the gates were locked. They couldn't get in for their own wedding, and the owner actually called the police on them. They were going to lose their deposit, and their wedding day was totally ruined. Only there was no deposit, and they never got permission from the owner to use the property. The property had been up for sale, and the future husband had toured the property as if he were going to buy it. But really, he was just scouting it out. Once they thought the property was empty, they planned the wedding of their dreams, thinking that no one would notice or care because nobody lived there. They literally tried to plan a wedding at a $5.7 million mansion without discussing it with the owner. <laughs> the cops were called, and they, had, they ended up having to be married at a park down the street. <laughs> Can you imagine having to tell your guests, um, wedding's off and uh, we never got permission? <laughs> oh, man. I think love had gone to this couple's head and they were just not thinking clearly. Well, let me tell you about a music rapper whose fame and money has gone to his head. Rapper Little Uzi, Vert, purchased a $24 million pink diamond, super rare and super expensive. After making the purchase, he wanted to keep this with him at all times, kind of like Gollum wanted to have his precious ring at all times. So he had the $24 million diamond surgically implanted into his head. <laughs> now, I'm not sure where Lil Uzi got the idea to have a diamond sewn into his head, but I know he's a huge fan of Marvel movies and Marvel comics. <laughs> Lil Uzi now has to pay for 24-hour round-the-clock bodyguards uh, to make sure that nobody grabs him and tries to take that precious stone out of his forehead. <laughs> now, I think he'll be okay so long as Thanos doesn't show up and rip it out of his head like we saw in the Infinity Wars movie. <laughs> what do you think? Had this rapper's fame and money gone to his head? <laughs> All right, now, while we're on the topic of singers, did you see the story about the rooster that crows so long each morning that he literally passes out and the owner has to make sure that he's still alive? <laughs> Like, you're done. The sun's come up. Everybody's awake. <laughs> My kids and I have watched this over and over again, and a few of them have ended up laughing and rolling on the floor. <laughs> now, don't worry. No roosters were harmed in the filming of this unbelievable story. 
<laughs> but I hear that the rooster is now seeing a therapist. <laughs> All right, now while we're on the farm, I might as well tell you about this next crappy story. Did you see that an activist group marched on the White House with pink wheelbarrows full of bulls crap? They dumped it in front of the White House in Washington, D.C. to let President Biden know that his policies dealing with climate change are total bull crap. All right, now that's not the word that they used, and they had a clever little song that rhymed with the word they did use, but this is a PG show, so I can't say it. All right, now when asked if they thought their message would be heard, they said yes, and they praised themselves for being nonviolent. So a nice peaceful protest, finally. All right, now to this day, President Biden has not responded to the message or this group's demand. Uh, maybe it's because he's too busy running the country, or maybe it's because their message was total crap. <laughs> I like how the wheelbarrows had the word love spray painted on them, and I loved that they were pink. <laughs> All right, now uh, on a more serious news segment, I've been covering the crisis at the border. Uh, well, a new story has come to light. According to the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, a farmer was using a tractor to slowly pull a trailer full of pickles across the border. All the paperwork checked out and the, the pickles were there. They could see them. But the Border Patrol started wondering, why are these pickles wrapped in saran wrap and not being transported in a clean barrel full of pickle juice or brine? <laughs> As they opened the pickles up, they discovered that this farmer was actually hauling $4.3 million worth of meth across the border to sell here in the United States. <laughs> they had wrapped uh, over 200 pounds of meth in saran wrap to look like pickles so that they could sneak it across the border. <laughs> now, I don't know how much uh, fun you can have with 217 pounds of meth, but that sounds like a lot of meth to me. <laughs> oh, pretty crazy, right? Oh, so much is going on in the news these days. Now, did you see these crazy uh, trending news stories or were they new to you? <laughs> and let me know, what's your reaction? Which of these stories shocked you the most? I want to hear from you. Was it the cow manure delivered to President Biden? Or was it the uh, pickles disguised that was really bundles of meth? Or was it the couple that had the courage to try to throw their dream wedding at a $5.7 million Florida mansion without the owner's permission? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I definitely want to hear from you. <laughs> now, uh, I want to know from my community, and please let me know in the comments, how many of you are planning to have a $24 million diamond surgically implanted into your forehead? I just have to know. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> now, if you like hearing crazy stories and trending news or learning about money and what's going on in Washington, D.C. and the economy, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. And also, will you please share this video with someone who might enjoy a good laugh tonight? <laughs> As I wrap up, I just want to remind you that you are amazing. I appreciate you being in my community, and I'll see you on the next video.